In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how much new land investors make in their first year. If you guys are new here, my name is Sumner Healy. Nice to meet you. I run a business called landinvestor.co. We help folks start and grow six and seven figure land businesses. If you want to learn the exact strategy that hundreds of our other LIA members are using, go to landinvestor.co slash apply down below. All right, guys, this is the million dollar question. It is Sumner, how much money can I make my first year land investing? I'm gonna share with you. And we're gonna use cold hard data to do this. Now, before I get into this, of course there's variables. Current results aren't indicative of future results or whatever that whole spiel is that people use as a disclaimer. There's a lot of variables here. I'm gonna try to distill down the variables. But of course, I can't tell you exactly how much you're gonna make. What I will say, this is exactly why we have 110% money back guarantee for a lead group coaching program is because heaven forbid in the off event that someone can't make their money back on the program in six months, we'll refund them all the money plus 10% on top of it. It's yet to ever happen, but we have it there as a safe stop because in some situations, who knows, maybe it just doesn't work. I've yet to see it, but I can't write it off entirely. All right. So before we dive into this, let me talk about budget. How much money do you need to get into the land business? Let's break this down. All right, excuse the chicken scratch. So the first thing is in this example, we're going to assume that you're having some level of education because frankly, without it, it's really anyone's guess. We've seen many people that do it for a year and make nothing. In my first year, I think I made somewhere around 60 to $80,000, but it was through a heck of a lot of trials and tribulations and pretty much worked in this business every single waking hour. What you're gonna see in this example is how education can really swing your results, whether it's your first year or even beyond. Okay, so on the education front, we put $10,000, that is the cost of the LEA Group Coaching Program, and then for the startup cost, we're somewhere around ten dollars to $20,000. Now you might be saying, Sumner, well, holy smokes, why are you revealing what the LEA Program costs? Frankly, I don't really give a hoop. If you can afford it, you can afford it. If not, we're not the right fit for you. We are like the Rolls Royce of education programs. Some people get it, some people don't. Now, of course, we do have more entry level programs that folks can take. Those are all DIY. What we're talking about here is a group coaching program. Frankly, I'm a believer that if you want to do anything big in this life, you need coaching. No one has gone and built anything impressive just from a course. They might start with a course as a catalyst, but at some point there's always gonna be coaching involved because what you see in a course is like a vacuum. Everything looks perfect until you go and do it. And that is why you need a feedback loop. You need someone going through all of the work you're doing and proofing it before you spend any money, whether it be buying deals or marketing or whatever it may be in this business. Also, we are pack animals. We are herd animals. We want to belong to a tribe and a community. I can't discount the community side of things enough. The second area is startup cost. So 10 to $20,000, it's pretty variable, right? The only, you can start with 10 grand. The only variable here is how quickly do we want to grow? We're going to be limited by how far we can grow, by how much we can put into marketing. Because everything in this business is a function of how much money can I put into marketing? How much money can I put into deals? And hopefully we're not putting our own money into deals. That's why we offer deal funding inside Leo. So really all you need to focus on is, hey, I'm not gonna be funding deals personally. I'm just gonna be pushing capital into marketing. Outside of marketing, there's gonna be a handful of some small additional costs. Cost of a CRM, cost of maybe a dialing system. That's a couple hundred bucks a month. Everything else is gonna to go to marketing. So three months in, you should get your first contract. For most Leo members, that typically looks like $15,000 gross profit on the low end all the way up to $100,000 on the high end. Now I must say again, if you're operating with a smaller budget, we're gonna be able to get less deals in that three month period. If we're saying, hey, we're gonna put 15 or 20K towards marketing, the likelihood of getting up to the six figure range is pretty high. It's not gonna come from one deal typically. This will be comprised of multiple deals. The average that we see for Leo members is about 15K gross profit per deal. So A, you might just fall outside of the average and get lucky and have some bigger deals first. We've seen that many, many times. But more than likely, if we wanna scale up to the 50, 60, 100K range in that three month period, we're gonna to need to spend more marketing to get more deals. Leah members average about 2,000 letters per deal. So keep that number in mind. Now, this is just to get a contract, okay? Of course, there's still latency until we get cash back into the business. So you definitely need to be able to float marketing up until that three month period. That's pretty doable. Even at 10K, that's still certainly doable. Now, at this point, you're gonna use deal funding. So you don't have to worry about putting cash into these deals, okay? Again, cash just goes to marketing. Now, about three and a half months to six months in, those deals are going to start falling, okay? We've seen people sell their first deal on their 13th week. So they get it on the 12th and sell it on the 13th. We've seen it happen you know, a month later. Most Leah members are selling their deals in under 60 days. Just keep that in mind. But to be safe, we're gonna say three and a half to six months to see that cash come back around. Now in this period, you're still gonna be marketing, right? We might have to draw back our quantity just based on how much budget you have in the business. Now, here's something that's really interesting. A lot of Leah members do this, and this is kind of a, an additional add-on that you're probably never gonna do on your own, but having the resources is important. So let's say here, we're getting 15 to 100K worth of deals that we're gonna close on and use deal funding on. There still may be one to three to four to five deals that aren't worthy of closing on, but there is margin there. So what a lot of Leah members do is they'll do what we call a double close 
or an assignment, okay? So we'll make money off the leads that aren't creme de la creme. Our rule is creme de la creme, 10 out of 10 deals, we close on them, we take title. Deals that are not quite creme de la creme, we double close or we assign that contract to someone else. It's so what that allows us to do is get a quick hit of cash into our business with no additional expense. So we can go take a marketing campaign, let's say we send out 4,000 letters, Let's say we get two deals that we're gonna close on. We're gonna actually put cash behind them. And we might get one or two deals that are gonna be double closes or assignments that give us a quick hit of cash. They repay us back for the cost of marketing. And then everything thereafter on that campaign is just pure profit. Again, you're typically not gonna see solo land investors doing that on their own. Just this little hack here can add hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to your bottom line. We have a Leah member that just started doing this this year. He'll make over $300,000 just from this little tweak right there. Okay, back to that three and a half to six months. So now some of this is actually gonna to start to hit your bank account, okay? So boom, there's a big difference between getting a contract and getting cash in your bank. We usually say it's about a six month process till that cash comes back in. It's about a 90 day process to get your first contract. And that's because we lay everything out in Leah in a very sequential fashion. We've literally distilled down the land business to its essence. Now, if you waltz in this business, you're not gonna see this just full stop. It took me almost eight months to get my first deal on my own. And that first deal made me $1,200, nowhere close to these numbers. It took me over two years until I had a deal that made me over $50,000 in profit. There is an immense value to education. In fact, you can make the argument that there's no higher return in the land business than the return on quality education. We have folks that joined Leah way back in the day when it was $2,500 that are making millions of dollars in their second year. I don't know of a return that's greater than that. No land deal will ever compete with that. Okay, so this is when things start to get sexy, okay? If you are following our blueprint and you're an absolute savage, you're not gonna take this money and go buy a new car. You're not gonna take this money and go celebrate. You put this right back into the business. So it's what we call scale mail, okay? Whatever we got here, 15, 20, 150,000, whatever it may be, like whatever we got in this, this three month period, to that six month range, that money came back to us. We don't do anything with that money other than redeploy it. Now, one asterisk, one thing that you can do if you want to play with house's money, you can pay yourself back. Okay. If you want to pay yourself back and say, hey, I'm just rolling the profits into scaling this thing, that's great. I've always been the kind of guy, though, when I see something working, I say, let's shovel everything I own into this. So when you see this play out in that six month region, you should be saying, holy smokes, where has this been all my life? And I'm going to put everything I own into this. So we take that capital, we put it back into mailing. Okay. Six to 12 months. At this point, okay, we're going to make a few breakdowns. At this point, if you're part time, you'll see about 150,000 to 250K into your business, okay? Now, the reason that part-time is in this variable is because even if you've got all the money in the world, if you can't put more than 20, 25 hours a week into this business, you're part-time. And what does it take to market into mail in this business? It takes time, not just money. So I don't care if you've got buku bucks, if you don't have time, time will be the bottleneck to you growing. If I wanna send out 100,000 mailers, it doesn't matter if I have the money, it's still gonna be an F ton of work on my part. So part-time lead members, 150K to 250K, if you follow this marketing flow, is super, super, super common, super. Full-time, full-time and quantified 25 to maybe 50, 60 hours a week if you're a total savage. Here we see about 300,000 to 500,000 in your first year, asterisks, right? A, you've gotta be working full-time, okay? This is not gonna fall into your lap. This business is simple, it's not easy. The other thing that I've seen with these full-time folks is they're hooked, they love this. It's like a needle in their arm. If you get it, you get it. Some people come into this business and they're like, that's okay. Other people like me and these folks that are in this category come in and they love this. It speaks to them on a cellular level. So it's not just a time component, it is also a passion and enthusiasm component, which is very much just an intangible, but it will move the needle. Now, what this required to get here is literally reinvesting everything we had, right? We had to make an investment in the beginning to education, an investment into the startup costs, and then we had to keep on snowballing those profits. So if you're one of those schmucks who's looking to pay rent this month from your land business, or you're looking to escape your nine to five in the next three months or six months, stop. This is a business. Have some respect. This business requires time and it requires you rolling your profits back in again and again. I see so many folks that are so short-term minded. If the business doesn't work for them in six months, they're out. That is a lame mentality. I need you to be looking at this in terms of decades, not weeks, not months, decades. And I need you to think about not taking any payment on this business for at least your first year. So boom, this is it. 150K to 250K. How would you like to make that part-time? 300K to 500K. How would you like to make that full-time? Here's what's required, the end.